John woke to the shrill cry of his alarm clock and lay there, rigid, his usual morning condition. But there was another reason John couldn't get out of bed. It was the weight. A weight that had nothing to do with his muscles or fat or sweaty blankets. John was weighed down by a piece of paper. The invitation to his high school reunion. From across the years, the words he'd heard in the schoolyard were still clear. You're a loser. No one will ever love you. John needed to shower and wash off the sweaty stink of desperate sadness. John had three months until the reunion to turn his life around. First, he needed to clean up. John called it his study, but it was basically for games and porn. Mostly porn. The only reason he'd ordered so much takeout was because Angel, the delivery peen, made John feel butterflies in his testicles. John suddenly realized, distracted by his new drive to improve his life, he had become late. He needed to hurry or he'd miss the bus to work. John had left his apartment late, but if he caught the express bus, he might make it to work on time. John didn't really like his job, but it had two qualities in its favor. One, he could pay his rent, and two, Barbara. Currently John's top candidate for his reunion date. John noticed a moderately attractive peen waiting at the stop. He tried to start a conversation and did not get the reaction he'd hoped for. It was probably because he was a minimum wage peen she could probably sense it. The office hummed with cold fluorescent lighting. The air was cold and stale, lifeless. How long had John worked here? Long enough to deserve better.
John was late, but he felt daring. He could sneak into the office through the archives, or he could stroll through the front entrance with enough confidence to bluff his boss. Predictably, he chose the direct route. John was nearly trampled by the morning coffee rush. Everyone else was hard at work, grinding away. John might actually get away with this. The boss. He honed in on John, deluging him with spit and buzzwords. The boss ran out of synonyms for John's failings and gave him an ultimatum. Barbara would definitely not be interested in dating John if he was unemployed. He had to get to the quality assurance department. There might be a faulty dildo just waiting to cost the company millions in lawsuits. John would have to test them all. Every atom of John's rectum began to vibrate with the frequencies of pure pleasure. His orifice was a paradise. This vibrator would end all wars. It was good. That one was good too. The Prostate Pounder X900 series. The most advanced vibrator on the market. Sweet mother of no, John, that's too much pleasure for one anus to handle. John's butt hurt, but his heart was proud. If that vibe had gotten out into the world, it could have injured a customer as badly as it had ravaged his anus. The boss arrived and congratulated John on taking one for the team and jumping on the hand grenade, or in this case, putting it up his butt. John was having trouble following the conversation because he was quite high on suppository painkillers. And then the boss said it. Promotion. Finally, the company was recognizing John's hard work and ignoring his minor faults like lack of talent, constant lateness and flatulence.